Welcome back. We are going to look at my project that I did that uh, replicates Wheel of Fortune. I thought it would be an interesting one to try to tackle. So as we start out, this is what we'll, you'll see. And then you will type in a name. And then you'll do another player. We'll just say player two. And then you'll do player three. It could be whatever you want. So if you have teams, you can have a team name, or you can just have the actual names of the players. On the third one, so then it will automatically set up your puzzle and include the category or the hint of the game and then it will randomize and set up the players. Uh, they will always go in this order and so it randomly selects. So if you remember I did one fin dog first, player two, and then player three. In this case it just reversed it but it's really just randomized to put them in the order uh, to play the game. And this is how, I, again, I tried to do, replicate this as close as possible to the actual game of Wheel of Fortune, and that's how they play it. They randomize the players uh, at their positions before the game starts, and then it always goes red, yellow, blue. So the first thing that you'll have to do is spin the wheel. If you don't, uh, and I put in, let's actually put in a consonant, and I say guess letter, it'll tell you you have not spun. Please spin first. And I recommend when you're playing with a group of people to spin first before you type in anything. Otherwise, uh, if you get a bankrupt spin, you will show them what you wanted to guess and that may give them a hint of what you're thinking. So in this case, we're going to spin this. And there is n the letter T is not in the puzzle. And then up here, it'll show you which letters have been guessed. I can't tell from anywhere if that actually happens in the real game, if the players can ever see what letters have been chosen, but I added it so you can see it. Now for this one, if I were to guess a vowel, meaning I want to buy a vowel basically, it says you do not have enough money to buy a vowel, please guess a consonant. So that's then where I would just spin the wheel. I have 650, and we're gonna go with an R. In case you don't you don't know, when you spin and you guess a consonant, that's the whatever you spun. That's how many you get per letter that is in the puzzle. So if say there were there's one R, I would have gotten 650. If there were two, I would have gotten 1300. In this case, there was no R. So that's two one fin dog. Uh, I do have a spot in here for a million dollars. It's one third of a wedge. We'll talk about that later. Uh, it's, it's right in between two bankruptcy um, wedges. We'll talk about that later when I go through the code. Let's go with an S. Awesome. That uh, kind of unexpected. And we're going to guess an A. And there are A's. We'll just go through the, the rest. Oh, okay, so I lost my turn now. I'm, I'm over with my turn. And it'll cycle through this. There are three rounds plus the bonus round. So we will try to cycle through this as fast as possible. Okay, let's go with an L. Uh, let's go with C. See where I did R, so I don't know if it's gonna be classroom. Uh, you guys will probably tell me exactly what it is. Oh, now this person, player three, is bankrupt. Let's try a B. Oops, sorry. Uh, yeah, so if you already have spun, it'll tell you you've already spun. Sure. So let's see, A, B, C. Let's correct with the D. 
Oh, uh, this person's bankrupt. Oh, lost a turn. D is not a puzzle. Let's try an F. F is not in the puzzle. Oh, darn. Now I've lost all of that. I feel like it's clashing, clanging. I'm not sure what that is. I know there's an I in there. There's no O. Definitely the H. And when all vowels are bought, it'll let you know that the all, all, all of the vowels are bought. And now you have to type it in exactly like it is above. And there is no time limit on this. There's no time limit. I Stick on any of them. Ah, gotta try this again. Put it in two wells. Then it will automatically go to the second one. And whoever has the least amount, so it cleared out everyone's rounds. It brought the total down uh, to the total. It brought whatever was in the round down to the total. If you're under a thousand, it adds, it will, you'll get at least a thousand. And then it clears out the rounds. And whoever has the least amount uh, in the order, then it will make them start the next round. Well, I'll start with an L this time. L's not in the puzzle. Got two S's, nice. Let's go with an R. If you do guess a letter that's already up there, uh, in fact, let me just show that. If I guess an, F, an L, because I am showing you that it is there, just like the game, you will then lose your turn because it's already been guessed. There's something in college life. Oh, and now bankrupt. Bankrupt again. Once you have spun, you actually still can guess a vowel if you'd like. If you have a wild, then it will be added if you get the letters correct. So let's see if I really can guess a good letter. So now I see the W there, that means you have a wild. And what that will do in this game is let you guess an extra consonant. You let this player guess an extra consonant if they make it to the bonus round. Let's try an A. Oh shoot, we already guessed A. I should have remembered that. It's not F. Bankrupt. 
Minecraft. I am not doing so well. Let's try a K. Nice, this person has, so player three now has a million. Okay, I've not guessed an E yet. Let's try an I. Okay, I think I know what it's going to be. And it could be capital or lowercase, it doesn't matter, or it could be a mixture. I think it's a university bookstore. It is, you solve the puzzle, close it, and it'll reset. So this is the last round before the bonus. So it looks like right now player three will be the one uh, to get it. And yeah, because the player two didn't win that round, then they lost the wild. No T. So this is fun and games. on this one. Let's see. Oh, we have one. Go with an I. No. This is much more fun when you play with multiple people for obvious reasons. should be bought at this point, which they are. Now I'm just gonna go through the alphabet. Lost a turn. Let's go with the C. I believe it's gonna be knock knock jokes. And you will need to put in the dash. Oops. Oh, knock knock joke. Darn. All right, so player three is now going to be the one to play. So they get to pick either song lyrics, food, and drink, or occupation. Uh, we'll go occupation. So I'm just reminding you, spin for your bonus. So we're going to spin the wheel. It says your winnings have been selected. Good luck. So this is the point where like Pat Sajak would have them spin that wheel, he would grab the envelope, but then you walk over and you have a chance to, and you look at the board, they automatically uh, submit R-S-T-L-N-E, and then you have a chance to look at it, see where those populate, and guess three consonants and a vowel. And again, if you had a wild, it would be four consonants and a vowel. So, I'm going to go with C. 
in of oh, art and already in there. Oh, um, I think I know what it is. I think it's gonna be career counselor, which means that it'd be. Oh, wait, there's other, only one other vowel. So we're gonna submit those letters. It's gonna automatically fill it in. I think I'm right. Let's see if I can make sure I spell this correctly. Counselor. And we'll solve it. I win. It was 15,000. So added to my total here, I win with $1,016,800. And that is how you can play this game. And I'll close it will reset after some time.